Most good football players are currently on NFL teams, but there are still some good ones that are just sitting not on an NFL roster. So today we are gonna use only current NFL free agents or practice squad players to build this team. And I'm not 100% sure how we're gonna do this. My plan is to maybe just do the same thing I did here where we can only sign players who, you know, don't end up signed. But I guess y'all will have to keep watching to find out. And today, we're gonna see if these players can prove that they deserve to be on an NFL roster. And we've been doing super well with all the light goals lately. I think we easily hit the last one within the first day. I mean, it's been less than a day, and I'm just assuming we will hit it, but y'all are goaded, so I know we'll hit it. So let's see if we can get to a thousand likes, and it'll let me know that y'all enjoy this video. And if we can hit that, I have something very special planned coming up. And once again, be sure to subscribe if you like Madden rebuilds, especially, you know, rebuild challenges, because that's mostly what I do. And once we hit 25k, I got something also special coming up that I've been teasing for a while now, so be sure to subscribe if you for some reason haven't already. It'll make you an OG of the channel while you still can be one, <laughs> as I always say. And last thing, no shout out for this video, but if you have a rebuild idea that you would want to see me do, let me know down below, and if I pick your comment, I'll give you a shout out, of course. Or if you don't care about that, just let me know anyways, because I'm always looking for fun ideas. But without further ado, let's get into this rebuild. So rough start, literally five minutes ago, the Seahawks signed Jason Peters to the active roster, so <laughs> can't have him here. But we have a couple interesting choices at QB. We have Colt McCoy, who in my opinion is like the best free agent QB. I mean, he's not great, but he's been solid when he's came in. He's been fine enough. But he is old, so the more interesting option is Matt Corral. Still only 24 here, and could be developable. We'll see. And we're gonna see what Leonard Fournette can do it running back. I don't know how he does normally in this game, but I guess we'll find out. Let me see actually, did the Bills sign him to their active roster? No, okay, thankfully. <laughs> He's just on the Bills practice squad. This receiving core is interesting though. I mean, it's not great, but T.Y. Hilton was solid the last time he played. Same with Jarvis Landry, but it's very old. So we'll have to see what we can do there. This offensive line is pretty good. Ben Jones, I'm really surprised he's a free agent. Lael Collins is... Is, he was bad for the Bengals, but he was really good for the Cowboys, so maybe the Cowboys should just sign him because Terrence Steele isn't doing super well for them. I don't know. He might be injured right now, actually. I have no idea, but we're gonna have him here. This tight end group isn't great, though. I do kinda like Max Williams, but that's that's about it. Not great there. And then the defense, another couple confusing guys why they're still free agents. Melvin Ingram and Chris Wormley were both pretty solid last year. Also on this defense, though, we have Casey Hayward, Desmond King, Anthony Barr, did he get signed? <laughs> nope, practice squad, okay, we're good. But yeah, there are definitely some notable players on this team, a lot of formerly really good players that are just kind of a little washed. But it's not terrible out of 76 overall. I mean, that isn't great, but it could definitely be a lot worse. Why do Max Williams' shoulders look so goddamn big? That's interesting. <laughs> but enough talking about the team, let's get into this rebuild and a couple things here. We'll get to the midseason, but I'm gonna check if any players get cut at obviously the preseason cut day because if they do they're fair game So if there are I will show y'all but if not I will see y'all at the midseason point of year one and hopefully hopefully this team can do well We'll see. Okay. Well at the midseason point. We are three and three. That is definitely not bad I didn't sign any free agents because I wanted to you know Just kind of keep this team actual current free agents instead of you know free agents that get cut here. We'll just do that in the other seasons. The only one I signed was Cleland Furl. He apparently got cut, but he doesn't really get any playing time. I just think he could be nice to have for the future because I'm, I've am i seen him do well in this game before, but I don't know. I guess we'll just see. We have some players to re-sign here already. Probably Furl is one of them, and oh yeah, Michael Carter was another one that got cut that I wanted for the future. We'll re-sign him two years, six mil. He comes back. Again, doesn't get any playing time yet, but could in the future. Same with Furl. He doesn't take it. Who cares? Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> and I guess so 
there's something we can do here. Let's check how the team's doing. Let's see the stats. It looks like we have a pretty bad offense, but Matt Corral's doing pretty well. Not many yards at all. Nine touchdowns, three picks. That's a pretty good ratio there. Leonard Fournette isn't doing great. Only 3.6 yards per carry. Jarvis Landry, Landry already 450 yards, four touchdowns. And we have like no pressure. Shocker. We have six total sacks on the season. That's great. And we have five interceptions. We have almost as many interceptions as sacks. That's that's a certified EA moment right there. But of course, that's all for us to do. So let's get to the end of year number one. If I had to guess, I would guess we'll finish about six and 11 or 7 and 10 but hopefully we can do better than that we'll see okay well even worse than i expected we finished 5 and 12 i thought i was being pessimistic saying maybe 6 and 11 but apparently not i just know that if you have like bad yard like yardage totals at the midseason in this game you usually regress in the second half of the year and that's definitely what happened we went from 3 and 3 in the first half of the season to 2 and 8 in the second half that's not great but matt Corral was better than I thought he would be. 3,300 yards, 23 touchdowns, 14 picks. Not, not too bad. I don't know if he's ever going to be on an NFL team again, but he is here. So we'll see if we can maybe develop him. And Leonard Fournette was actually pretty good. 1,000 yards, 4.1 yards per carry. That's not bad. 10 touchdowns. Five fumbles isn't great, but we will, we'll ignore that. How about that? Jarvis Landry led the team with 1,000 yards, eight touchdowns. Brian Edwards, 800 yards. That's not bad. Ooh, the blocking wasn't great. I mean, that's usually what happens if we don't have a great QB. So we will hope that's just the product of that. And then Alexander Johnson led the team with 136 tackles, tackles for loss, 14 for Chris Wormley, 13 for Carlos Dunlap, and sacks, six for Melvin Ingram led the team. And outside of him, we had like nothing there. So apparently Carlos Dunlap isn't very good in this game. And interceptions, five for Casey Hayward. He was actually pretty solid. 12 pass deflections too. Deron Harmon with three interceptions and Desmond King and Logan Ryan each had one. So we had some players do well, but we had some players do really, really bad, it looks like. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes wins MVP here, though. Joe Burrow got signed by the Browns because, of course, he did. He couldn't go to a non-division rival. That's fun. Which, you know, he's out for the season now, which sucks. I said this on Twitter, but <laughs> they should just get rid of Thursday night games. Like, they're always boring. I mean, they should have just scheduled better games in the first place, but they're always boring or they're injured injury fests. Like, I mean, I don't know how they could have predicted injury fests, but even it, heading into the season, it's like last week's was Panthers Bears. Why did you think that was going to be a good Thursday night game? Like, I don't know. The Thursday night games this year are just never good. But MVP goes to, of course, or Offensive Player of the Year, of course, goes to a division rival in Lamar Jackson, as per usual. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Max Crosby. Kind of surprised we didn't see Casey Hayward up there, but Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Rasheed Rice. And Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Christian Gonzalez. So no awards, obviously. And fair warning, this is going to be a really hard rebuild. Because I'm not going to draft. I thought about it, but I figured people would cry if I did that. Because, I mean, it would kind of ruin the point of the rebuild, I guess. Because, you know, we're just trying to build this team out of unsigned free agents. But we are going to do a little bit in free agency. But we can only sign players in week three of free agency. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to say those are guys that, you know, some of them might get signed but it's not like there's going to be anyone crazy there so that's how we're going to do this i thought that would be a fair way to do this where we can maybe build a good team but i didn't want this to just turn into like a regular rebuild after you know definitely not starting as a regular rebuild but let's see who is going to win the super bowl i'm going to guess cowboys chiefs with the cowboys winning 34 to 31 i'm going to be entirely wrong because i'm predicting it but oh my god i was okay i didn't rig that let me show that i didn't rig that I was six total points away. Wait, that's insane. This game is way too predictable. Uh, league schedule, I guess. I was trying to go to team schedule. I don't know why. I didn't, like, force win any of these, obviously. I don't know why I would do that, but this game is way too predictable. <laughs> I, I guessed 34-31 Cowboys Chiefs. It was 31-28. So a three-point differential, six total points off in the two teams. I didn't even know either of them were in the playoffs. I just, uh, this game is way too repetitive. Whatever. That's actually insane, though. But let's see if we hit any dev ups. Uh, no, <laughs> apparently not. We did get one for Casey Hayward. That makes sense. But that was the only one, and he regressed. So I don't know how much that's gonna do for us. But it it happened. But now let's get into free agency. And God, hopefully there's 
some good players that somehow don't get signed, but sometimes there aren't even good players in free agency at all, so I I don't know. I guess we'll take a chance on Cleland Furl being good, two years, 11 mil. He doesn't sign. All right, fuck you two then. I, <laughs> whatever. And now comes the depressing part. We, like I said, have to simulate past two weeks of free agency. So here goes one week, if it wants to, I guess not. And here goes the next one. And it looks like, oh, <laughs> Joe Burrow goes to the Commanders. I wouldn't really say QB is their biggest problem right now. I was kind of right about Sam Howell being a breakout this year. I mean, I feel like he's a little overrated right now just because he leads the league in yards. Like, I mean, it's yards. They kind of just pass a lot. That's kind of just a product of that, but he's doing well for sure. There's some all right players here though. Should I say we can't go for players that have an offer? I guess I'll do that. Cause like I was thinking about going for Baker Mayfield, but he does have an offer. There are some all right players here though. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but let's see who I want to go for. Okay, like I said, free agency is a lot better than I thought it would be. And we're able to sign some okay players that I think could have a decent amount of upside for us. We're gonna go for Deshaun Elliott, who somehow hasn't been signed as an 80 overall, I almost said an 80 year old, 80 overall, 27 year old safety. Like that's pretty good. And you gotta keep in mind, my custom rosters, the overalls are a little lower for everybody. So an 80 here is, I guess, probably like an 83 or an 84 in the regular Madden rosters. I don't know. But we're also gonna go for Tyler Higby. It's kind of rare that I go for like older players, but you know, I wanna have a decent tight end. We could definitely upgrade at some point though. We're gonna go for Frankie Luvu too, DJ Jones. Also, we might think about playing Frankie Luvu as an edge. We'll see. He's only 235 though. <laughs> if we were a 3-4 maybe, but uh, I don't know. But DJ Jones, we're also gonna try to get Cam Robinson. That could be kind of nice. Leonard Floyd, I'm actually gonna do player friendly because he's really good in this game most of the time. I wanna get him for sure. But we're also gonna go for Christian Fulton. He's only 25 years old. That would be nice. Josh Metellus and Nick Harris. Like this is a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, it's nothing crazy, obviously. Our best player is only an 80 overall, but I thought we would be signing players like, I don't know, Keanu Neal as like the best one, but no, this is a lot better. So let's see if we can sign any of these players. Oh, <laughs> okay. I've never seen literally all of them sign just immediately. Maybe that's what goes down in week three. I don't know. They're just desperate to sign somewhere, but we got literally everybody and we should be looking all right. Obviously not great, but there's still a lot to go in this rebuild. And year one's usually weak for free agency any free agency anyways, so it gives me hope that the future ones will be even better. We'll see though. Okay, actually I lied. We're gonna do a couple other things. We're gonna sign Noah Brown, who's been on a tear in real life for the Texans. So hopefully he can do that for us here. I think he'll be our number one receiver, which like isn't isn't great, but in real life he's been playing like a number one receiver, so hey, I don't know. And then we're also gonna go for Quez Watkins. We had a lot of receivers regress and retire, so we're gonna do that. Let's also go for Tyler Huntley. He is pretty good in this game sometimes. He would at least be a good backup, but if Matt Corral does struggle, we could think about throwing Tyler Huntley in. We'll see. But no draft here, obviously. So let's just get straight into year number two of the rebuild. Did I already say that? I feel like I already said that. I don't know. I take like long pauses. So if I ever say something twice and I just forgot, I, I apologize, I guess. Ooh, there are actually some pretty good running backs that didn't get signed. Uh, which one's good in this game though? <laughs> I can't really say I've ever seen any of these guys do super well. I've seen AJ Dillon do okay before. Let's try Devin Singletary though. I mean, he is star dev too. Maybe that means something. I don't know. Maybe he'll develop into a good player. KJ Hamler. Sure. Why not? Jordan Battles still sit in here too. I mean, he's not an actual free agent in real life, but a lot of the guys right here aren't. So if they don't get signed by these teams, I'll pick them up. Cameron Dick here, Dicker the kicker, let's go. That was probably the widest thing I have ever said. That's cool. And that was only week one of the preseason. Let's see if anyone else gets cut during the cut day. Ooh, Donovan Peoples-Jones, we'll take that. Ooh, and he has star dev in this game? Or, I didn't think he did, but maybe they gave it to him, unless he got it. Kendrick Green, he's only 25, 72 overall, sure, why not? Fedarian Mathis, he's a 73 overall here, sure. These are players I would like never sign in a regular <laughs> rebuild obviously, but they looking good here. And that's all we're gonna do. We need to cut 24 players. Oh God, this'll be fun. I'll just do this and we'll see what, we'll see what the team's looking like. I think it'll be decent. But here's a look at the team heading into year number two of the rebuild.
rebuild. We're at a 77 overall, which, you know, for a regular rebuild isn't good, but the team isn't looking too bad at all. And, you know, if one of these two QBs doesn't work out, hopefully we can get a good QB at some point. We'll see. You know, there's always hope for a really good player to just not get signed. I've seen it happen before. I've seen really good players get cut. So there's always hope. And hopefully Leonard Floyd can do well. I mean, I've seen him win Defensive Player of the Year. He won Defensive Player of the Year like three times in the backups only rebuild I did. So yeah, he's really good in this game. So I'm sure now that I'm saying all that, he's just gonna suck, but we'll see what happens. And again, if Matt Corral does suck at the midseason, we could put Tyler Huntley in. And also if like Devin Singletary sucks or something, we could just put Leonard Fournette back at the number one spot. Also, I'm really surprised neither Devin Devin Singletary, or not Devin Singletary, Leonard Fournette or Le uh, Jarvis Landry. I'm surprised neither of them got a dev trait. They both had a thousand yards. They both did pretty well. I guess Fournette had five fumbles, but still ignoring that they both did pretty well, but I guess they weren't going to develop much anyways, but let's get to the mid season point of year two. Don't think we're going to do great this year, but we're going to see if we can develop some of these players and really look to build a good team next year. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that's tough. Not as good this season. We are are only two and five. Was I checking the Browns record at the midseason last year? Were we like playing them? I can't remember. I think we were three and three though. But now I'm like concerned. I was just looking at the Browns record last year and saying they were three or saying we were three and three, even though they were. I don't know. Probably not. Hopefully not. But we have a few more re-signings this year to say the least. We had two last year. We have 29 this year. It's like legitimately everybody on the team. So that's cool. But I guess we'll start with Donovan Peoples-Jones three years, 15 mil. He says he'll sign it later. I hate that goddamn message so much, as you guys know. Brian Edwards is actually a 76. He's not terrible. Three years, also 15 mil, and he actually accepts it, unlike Donovan Peoples-Jones. Jack Sanborn, that's kind of nice, actually. Two years, six mil. That's really cheap for a pretty solid linebacker. I can't really say there's anyone else I want back too badly, though. Um, Cam Robinson, I think, is actually doing pretty well. Yeah, only two seconds allowed so far. I know as soon as I resign him, he's going to be awful, but three years, 35 mil, he doesn't take it. Okay. Understandable. DJ Jones, two years, 18 mil. He resigns. Okay, cool. And then I guess we'll resign Matt Ariza and Cameron Dicker just because, just so I don't have to worry about kicker and punter. I guess we could probably get really good ones to be fair, but oh well. But that's all the resigning we're going to do for now. I don't think we're going to get much better in the second half of the year, unfortunately. We'll probably finish about 5-12 and 12 once again, but like I said, I didn't expect this year to be good. We're going to try and build the team up in this offseason and be good next year. We'll see. Hopefully that happens. But let's get to the end of year number two, and hopefully we aren't too bad. There's no point in sucking. We're not drafting, so uh, pause, but hopefully we can be good. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe I just need to predict that we're going to go like 17-0 and 0 or something, and we'll finish 16-1, and 1, because I predicted we would finish 5-12, and 12, and we we finished 4 and 13. Last year, I guess 6 and 11, we finished 5 and 12. So if we're finishing one game worse than I think, we're gonna go 17 and 0 next year. Smile. But uh, what went wrong this year? I'm actually not sure. Our line looked good at the midseason. Matt Corral doesn't have a great passer rating, but 31 touchdowns, which is sixth. Ooh, Devin Singletary. I don't know if he did great. Ooh, okay. Matt Corral, 3,600 yards, 31 touchdowns, which that's like a pretty good stat line. The yards are a little low, but the touch touchdowns, that's good, but 20 interceptions. That's tough. Maybe he isn't the answer. I mean, I want to believe he's the answer. I loved him as a prospect. Well, I liked him a lot as a prospect coming out of Ole Miss. I can't say I loved him. I reserve my love for your mother and her only. So I want him to succeed here, but eh, I mean, he kind of is. It could be worse. Devin Singletary wasn't awful, but 3.7 yards per carry isn't great. We just didn't run much, even though we ran a lot last year. I don't understand this playbook. Donovan Peoples-Jones did do really well. 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns, that's pretty nice. And Noah Brown, 900 yards, four touchdowns. Who got all of our touchdown passes? I guess it was Donovan Peoples-Jones. This doesn't look like 31, but I guess it is. 29, yeah, 31. Interesting. Jarvis Landry also did pretty well. And then Taylor Lewan was terrible. Cam Robinson wasn't great. Our interior was okay. It was better than last year. We'll take that. Jayon Brown led the team with 130 tackles. Tackles for loss. I am, okay, I saw this at the midseason. 17 tackles for loss for Leonard Floyd, 16 for Melvin Ingram, but sack? 
max. Five and a half from DJ Jones led the team. This is what I get for predicting that Leonard Floyd would be great. He got two sacks, two of them, in a thousand snaps. Normally he does better than he should in this game, getting like 20 sacks sometimes. This is way, way, way worse than he should be doing. I, uh, <laughs> that's great. But interceptions, we were pretty good there. Six for Desmond King, four for Casey Hayward, three for Logan Ryan, and one for Jayon Brown. I wish we could get a few more players like Luckin into one, but it's still a really good amount. How did I get over here? I don't know how I did that. We only kicked 13 field goals. That's interesting. But MVP goes to Patrick Mahomes. I'm surprised it hasn't gone to like Joe Burrow just to rub it in my face that, you know, we had him at one point. Offensive player of the year again goes to Rishi Rice. Or was he player of the year last year? Or just rookie of the year? I can't remember. But another award for him either way. Another big award. Defensive player of the year goes to Josh Allen. Desmond King at number two. That would have been huge. But, oh God, I don't even want to say it. Let's just see if he got best DB. Okay, he did. That's pretty, that's nice. I was going to say he probably got best DB, but if I said that, it would have gone to DJ Reed. So I didn't. I was smart about it. <laughs> and then obviously no bangles up there for offensive or defensive rookie of the year. I was thinking we could uh, target more unsigned free agents, but, or undrafted free agents, but there just weren't any good ones like at all. So <laughs> didn't really work out that way. That was a weird best linebacker list. But once again, no postseason for us, obviously, which is fair. We're not a great team, but let's get into the off season and we will really work to upgrade the team this year. As long as there are free agents. If they're not, then that's just unlucky. Wow, this game is so diverse and original and creative. <laughs> You'll never guess what the Super Bowl was. It was Cowboys beating the Chiefs 45 to 24. Shocker, I know. I mean, it's kind of shocking that they blew the Chiefs out, but it's the same two teams. I mean, at least normally in rebuilds, it's a rotation of the same like eight teams, like Cowboys, Chiefs, Panthers, Raiders, Bengals, Falcons, Eagles, and like the Ravens sometimes, but this one has just been the same two teams. I don't know, at least for me. Maybe it's different with the regular Madden rosters, I don't know. But even when I like update my ratings, it's it's still the same. I Maybe I should just remove the Cowboys from this because it's not, I'm not a Cowboys hater either. Like I, I just hate seeing them every single goddamn year when they haven't actually won a Super Bowl in like 30 years. It's just the Madden ratings adjuster is a Cowboys fan, I'm pretty sure. Or someone is, I don't know. But anyways, for re-signings, we obviously want Donovan Peoples-Jones back. I don't know how picky he's gonna be. We could probably just resubmit the same thing, but I don't wanna take that chance. So I'm upping it a little bit. Four years, 22 mil. Just kidding. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna tag him. <laughs> That's really expensive, but it's not like we're desperate for money or anything. We are desperate for good players and he has the potential to be one. So we're gonna tag him. <laughs> Matt Corral, do we wanna give up on that experiment? I mean, he's been fine. Just a lot of picks this year. Um, five years, 37 mil. Honestly, we're not gonna do five more years, obviously, and it's probably gonna be cheap early on. Oh, it literally says what it's gonna be. It's only gonna be a six mil cap hit the first year. That's not bad at all. Even if he's the backup, that's fine. Five years, 37 mil sounds good, and he resigns. Natani Moody, three years, 16 mil sounds good. Just kidding. Fair enough, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't wanna be on this team either. Jordan Battle, I guess we'll resign him. He does come back, thankfully. Tyler Higby, we don't really use tight end anyways. I mean, we'll just see what happens in free agency. Jayon Brown got a dev trait. Four years, 27 mil, sounds good. He does come back. He's already 30, but he might develop a little bit more. We'll see. And then everyone else I'm not super interested in. So let's get into free agency. Once again, we'll have to simulate through the first couple weeks, but hopefully we can get some good players. I don't know why I'm doing such like, am I just a masochist or some shit? Like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing the most hard challenges I can think of. Like, oh yeah, let's do a rebuild where we can't draft or sign players and we start with a bad team. Like, why do I do shit like this? Well, I do shit like this because I know if I do go and draft players in this rebuild, I people are gonna fucking cry about it. So I don't know. I almost simulated past the week. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Why did nobody sign any of these players? <laughs> is every team broke now? Possibly. Okay, this is kind of huge. There are actual players here. Actual good starting caliber players for the most part. There isn't really a great QB. I mean, I had Kirk Cousins in like the last rebuild I did. I can't remember how he did though. He wasn't great this last year, but the year before he was pretty good. I always forget how good of stats Kirk Cousins puts up. That's why you can't just look at stats to decide if a player's good. I mean, he's fine, but whatever. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for Trent.
Trent Williams, obviously. In fact, we'll offer him like a three-year deal. I'm sure he's gonna retire, but just in case he doesn't, that's just so we don't have to resign him, because I'm sure he won't be interested. <laughs> and do we want any of these tackles? Tackles just play so bad in this game. I guess we'll maybe try out Taylor Decker. We're gonna have to play one of these guys at right tackle, though. Khalil Mack didn't get signed yet? Uh, he's like one of the most broken players in this game. Yes, sir. This is so much better than I thought it would be. <laughs> I mean, I figured teams would be broke by now, so it might be a little better, but no, this is much better. Uh, like, all the corners do have offers for him, though. That kind of sucks. Oh, why do these guys have to have offers? That sucks. There's such good safeties here. <laughs> okay, we're really trying to be a good team this year. I, I don't want to be a bad team anymore. This is a unbelievably better free agent class than we were going for last year. And this has the possibility to make us a legit team. We're gonna go for Trent Williams, obviously. Taylor Decker, Khalil Mack, Elijah Mitchell would be, he would be good in real life probably, but I don't think he does well in this game. But to be fair, I don't really think any of these running backs do super well in game. Not that I can remember. It's hard to remember. It really is just cause you never know. And it changes sometimes. So I don't know, but we're also gonna go for Michael Pierce, CJ Mosley, Brandon Cooks to be our number one receiver. J Ron Curse, Tyler Higby with like the money I had left. Mike Hilton and Elijah Moore. The Elijah Moore one could be pretty huge too, cause he's only 25. He's been kind of terrible in real life, but he's only 25 here and pretty decent. So let's see if we can sign any of these players right off the bat. And once again, I guess that must just be a thing. Any player that gets any offer must automatically sign. So that's, that's good to know for next year. Next year I'll go player friendly for everybody, <laughs> or team friendly for every player. I should have done that this year, but you know, I didn't know for sure if that was a thing or not, or if we just got lucky, but apparently it is a thing. So I'll do that next year. But now we're up to an 81 overall and we'll obviously fix right guard. Uh, we'll get some depth at tight end and we should be looking pretty good. We have like the most broken pass rush duo possible. Leonard Floyd and Khalil Mack. I mean, in real life, that doesn't sound like much. That's just like the Bears 2018 pass rush, but usually in this game, it's really good. So let's get to the start of next season and we'll see if there are any good free agents we can sign, hopefully. But here is a look at the team heading into year three of this once again chaotic rebuild. Again, I need to not be so chaotic with my ideas, but hey, they're fun, so it's worth it. But <laughs> we're an 81 overall. We're looking good. It's insane we got Trent Williams, obviously. Hopefully him and Taylor Decker can do well, but I have a feeling I know how that's gonna go, even though those are like two best players. Hopefully Elijah Mitchell can do well. Hopefully our receivers can do well and continue to develop. And hopefully more than anyone, Matt Corral can continue to do well and develop. Or hopefully there's a QB next year that we can go for if he doesn't do well. And then the defense is looking pretty good too. I mean, we're a well-balanced 81 overall, 81 offense and 81 defense. And hopefully Khalil Mack and Leonard Floyd can play like they usually do in this game. Leonard Floyd got star dev somehow. I just, I guess from the tackles for loss, even though he had two sacks. I love this game. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to show us signing for agents. I'm stupid. We added Graham Glasgow. We added a lot of depth too, like Terrace Marshall, Sky Moore. Who else did we sign? I guess that's about it. We didn't really sign too many players. Maybe Fedarian Mathis. I think we might've got him back. Carl Granderson, like only one starter, but some good depth for sure. But now I'm gonna be so disappointed by our by our record, I'm sure. <laughs> but let's get to the mid-season point of year three and hopefully we're doing okay. But normally when I have that feeling about this game, I'm I'm right. We'll see though. Hopefully I'm wrong. Wow, are we just gonna be mid at the mid-season? I mean, it is called the mid-season, but like why <laughs> why can we not win? We are three and four. I mean, we don't have the best team in the world, but where does an 82, hold on, are we still an 82 or did we go up after upgrades? Uh, Yeah, we're still an 82. We're playing with negative morale though, but where does an 82 rank in the NFL? Let me see. Probably not great, but eh, well, it's not bad. I guess three and four is about fair, actually. I don't want to admit that, but I guess I have to. <laughs> that was the realest shit I've ever said, but we have some re-signings to make, of course. It said 34 of them, so that's gonna be fun. I'm sure we definitely have the money for this. Who do we want back? I definitely want Donovan Peoples-Jones. We'll try three years, 20 mil, and he comes back. Okay, cool. Desmond King, obviously. He's been really good. Three years, 22 mil. He comes back. Beautiful. And then, is Taylor Decker doing well? He is in interested, but mm, he's only allowed two sacks so far. Will he, we'll see how he does by the end of the year. J-Ron Curse? Eh, he's doing okay. Again, we'll see at the end of the season. 
I guess we'll just do the same for like everybody here. Like none of these players are interested though, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We are coming off of a win to the Chargers though, so maybe that's a sign of things to come, I hope. Oh well, <laughs> we got beat 31 to nothing and 31 to 14, 17 to 38, shout out Fetty Wap, but not in a good way here. Yeah, we're winning close and losing badly, so that's never a good sign. We probably have a negative point differential. Oh yeah, very negative. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I know the Bengals usually have really good playbooks in this game, or at least they do well in this game, especially on offense, but when I use their offense, it's bad. I don't know if it just does well because of the players they have, like, you know, they have a good QB in Joe Burrow, they have a good running back in Joe Mixon. I don't know if that's the only reason it's good, but whenever I use the Bengals offense, it's miserable. It's not even, like, not great, it's terrible. So, if we finish with a bad offense, we'll definitely think about switching it. Our defense also isn't good, but I don't know. We'll just, we'll see what happens. That's all we really can do. So let's get to the end of the season and yippee, I can't wait to miss the playoffs again. Gonna be super fun. Shocker, we finish, we finish seven and 10. That's cool. I guess I said 17 and 0 and we finish seven and one zero. I, I don't know. Close enough. God, the, the Titans are really good in this game too. Like unfairly good. They just never win the Super Bowl. But now that I say that, I'm sure they will this year. Wish we could be like them. I'm jealous. But Matt Corral, 3,500 yards, 24 touchdowns, 18 picks. Not great. <laughs> he had a decent completion percentage, but like, for what? Throwing interceptions? I'm... We'll find a new QB. I maybe should have even started Tyler Huntley, but I was hoping that Matt Corral could like, you know, have a similar season and then just lower the interceptions, but no. Elijah Mitchell was pretty bad. <laughs> Low key. Maybe we should go with Michael Carter. 890 yards, only 3 3.4 yards per carry did get 13 touchdowns but like yeah 3.4 ain't great not even a thousand yard receiver though 900 yards for donovan peoples jones 10 touchdowns i mean he was still pretty good elijah moore and brandon cooks were whatever oh ooh, those aren't the linemen i thought would do bad i thought taylor decker would be bad and i thought nick harris might do bad but andrew norwell allowed 13 sacks from guard uh no thanks i'm i'm okay thank you uh trent williams was also really disappointing Shocker. CJ Mosley led the team with 126 tackles. Tackles for loss, 18 from Max, 17 from Floyd, 15 from Pierce. And sacks, 7.5 from Floyd is solid. Only 6 for Khalil Mack? That's like the lowest amount I've ever seen him get. Is it time to switch the overall playbooks? Like, all of them? <laughs> it might be time. But 4 sacks for Desha or four interceptions for Deshaun Elliott led the team. 3 for Mosley and Fulton, 2 for King, Brown, and Curse. And then 1 for a couple players. So, are we just going to be lame and go with the Chiefs offense, we might. I've never really tried, like, the Cowboys offense. Well, I have, and it went terribly. Uh, I've never tried the 49ers, really. I used to use the Eagles. Was that in the last year's game or, like, two years ago? I don't know. The Falcons offense? Maybe that would be a strategy. I mean, it wasn't that good. It must have been their defense. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try the Bills defense and, I guess, the Chiefs offense. I mean, we weren't terrible, but <laughs> the stats were pretty terrible, so I don't know. We'll try try that but that uh again weird there's a there's a blank space for mvp i wow what a top three that's 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 a that's a top three debo samuel up there for mvp that's something. He's not even the best receiver on his team. All right. Love the realism of this game. Jonathan Taylor wins Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Joey Bosa. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Dexter Vernon for the Raiders, and I don't know why I'm reading these rookies. <laughs> it has nothing to do with our rebuild. So once again, another season of no playoffs, which we kind of expected, and we don't really deserve to be in the playoffs, but I've seen much worse teams than this make the playoffs, to be fair. And I thought the Bengals' playbooks were good, so we'll We'll get into the offseason and we'll try to find a new QB. Hopefully we can. Is Madden simulation getting worse? <laughs> the Cowboys win the Super Bowl again. Uh, I mean, at least it's a, a good team in real life and it's not the Panthers or the Falcons or something. But again, this team hasn't won a Super Bowl in 30 years and they win three in a row. This time they beat the Bills 28 to 24. I love this game. How many times can I say it? I love this game so much. I would go as far as to say I'm in love with this game. I want to marry... Madden 24. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm losing my mind. And for players we have to re-sign, we'll bring Taylor Decker back. He did pretty good. Two years, 35 mil. He comes back. Cool. Can't wait for him to play like shit next year for no reason. J-Ron Curse, how did he do? Uh, I've seen better 
for sure. Only four pass deflections, two picks is solid, but we'll see if there are any other options. If not, probably won't get signed. How did Josh Metellus do when he started for us? No picks, but seven pass deflections. He's not interested though, so we'll let him go too. Again, could be a potential re-sign option. Michael Pierce, one year, 10 mil. He does not take it. All right, cool. Michael Carter, two years, seven mil. He comes back. Okay, cool. Leonard Floyd, I want to believe that he can do well, so I'll extend him three years, 20 mil. Okay, he doesn't take it. I mean, again, I'm sure we can get him back in free agency, but I don't know. He, he hasn't done nearly as well as he usually does for me, and especially nowhere near as well as I've seen him do for other teams. That's just the story of Madden franchise, though. But we'll let all those players go. We can potentially upgrade or at least get a similar player to those players. And let's see who we can sign in free agency. Teams might have money this year, though, so I don't know if it's going to be as good as last year. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I do want to check before we get into free agency. Did we get any dev ups this year? Okay, no. <laughs> uh, Frankie Louvu got one. Did Deshaun Elliott get one this year or did he get it last year? I can't remember. I didn't notice it at least. So I think we got two. Not great, but it could have been worse. That's my life motto. That's a depressing motto. But in free agency, ah, okay. There are some good players, but Ronnie Stanley has a team interested. Tyran Matthew has a team interested. Yeah, it's not as good as last year. There are some interesting players though. I've seen Geno Smith do pretty well in this game before recently. It looks like he was the backup though for the last couple years and it doesn't look like he did well the first year. So I'm gonna stay away from him for sure. We're not doing that as much of a Geno defender as I am. I ain't doing that. Sam Howell didn't look like he did super well either. Kirk Cousins, he got a dev trait. I uh, can't say he deserved that dev trait though. Or no, he had a dev trait. Never mind. Damn, he was terrible. <laughs> Still no QB option. That sucks. I've seen Trey Lance do well in this game like once before, but that was in a league where, you know, no QBs did well. It was all backup. Bailey Zappi hasn't played. <laughs> this is just tough. I don't know what to do. I wonder, hold on. Is there a QB anywhere with a dev trait by chance? If there is, they probably would have gotten signed though. Like just some random UDFA that, ooh, oh, ooh. Okay, 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 hold on. He's a 62 overall, but Dom McDermott has superstar dev and he's only 22. If he was 24, I wouldn't be as excited. That sounds weird out of context, but he has room to grow for sure. So I'll look for other players here, but that could be kind of nice. We'll see. But these are the players we are going to go for in free agency. There's some good ones here. Once again, we're going to go for Malik Hooker, Kareem Hunt, which definitely would be nice because he does usually do pretty well in this game. Dietrich Wise, he's okay in this game. We'll see what happens. Teron Johnson, Romeo Dobbs, Cam Robinson. I mean, just a good amount of players here. We're also going to go for Sam Howell. So I don't know if he'll do great, but we won't know unless we get him, I guess. I guess I can't technically go for Carl Booth, even though he has superstar dev because the Chargers are interested. But you know, there are some star and superstar undrafted guys I found. So that's kind of fun, which that's a tip, by the way. I mean, these guys are hard to develop, obviously, <laughs> you know, like a 62 overall 65. But sometimes you do find superstars and you usually find more if it's week one, too, because, you know, some of the guys got signed because it's week three of free agency here. But let's see if any of these guys do want to sign. I did go uh, team friendly for some of these, by the way, just to save a little money. But for most of them, I didn't care because they aren't super expensive anyways. But let's see if we can sign any of these players. I'm guessing all of them. Yeah, all of them. OK, cool. Well, once again, these are some pretty big additions to the team, but we are going to have a lot of questions at QB. I mean, we have four potential starting options there. There's Sam Howell, Matt Corral, Tyler Huntley, and then the superstar QB we signed. So we'll have to figure that out. But let's get into year. God, what, do you, what year even is it? <laughs> it's 2025 right now. So that'll be year four. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get into year possibly four and we'll see how the team is looking. Okay, this is really random, but I feel like in Madden 15, or something like that, which that's really dating myself, I guess. But I feel like in Madden 15 or something, there used to be like a little stat over here where you could sort free agents by dev trait. Like, I think it would show a zero for slow dev, a one for normal, a two for quick, and then a three for superstar or something like that, which those were the old dev traits. It's basically just normal star, superstar, and X factor now, but like moved back one. But I feel like there used to be a thing where you could do that. I wish it was still a thing. It would it would make it so much easier because 
now you have to go through and like, all right, let's find the undrafted guys and just randomly pick one and hope they have a hidden dev trait. Well, I guess it couldn't really be a thing because that would just spoil what their dev trait is based off of like, or like if it was hidden or something. But I don't know, maybe it could just show like a one for all of them if it's hidden. I don't know. Oh, okay, I did find a star. <laughs> I mean, he's only a 66, but I guess that's better than nothing. Alex Miner? Dream shaking right now. But here's a look at the team heading into year two. No, year two. Year four of the rebuild. I'm never gonna get the years right. I should just stop saying what year it is. Y'all probably know what year it is better than I do. But <laughs> I'll just say, here's a look at the team heading into the season. We are gonna try out Dom McDermott. I mean, we might as well just give him a chance. He has superstar dev. He looks fat. How heavy is he? Wait, what? 6'3", 292? Is this dude a fucking defensive tackle? <laughs> I have literally never seen this in the game before. 290 pound quarterback? I mean, they used to look fat sometimes at like the beginning of the game, but that was just like a visual glitch. They were only like 215 or something. This is so interesting. <laughs> what are his traits? Are his traits good? No, not great. Some of them are good, like decision maker. He has ideal tight spiral, but trigger happy sense of pressure isn't great. And I don't think spontaneous, does personality even matter? I, I don't know. It doesn't matter in real life. Give me those big, big tits. I don't know. I mean, he would know something about having big tits. What am I talking about? Um, hopefully he can be good. I guess we'll see. We got the hefty lefty out here. Wait, is he left-handed? Uh, where do I check that? No, he's right hand. Well, let's just make him left-handed. <laughs> I don't know if that like makes him play worse. Maybe that's not a good idea. I don't know if even matters, but we'll make him the hefty left. And then here's our defense. I haven't even shown our defense yet. I almost forgot to, but some decent additions this year. Uh, Malik Hooker, Dietrich Wise, Teron Johnson. I mean, that's solid. It's pretty much the same defense as last year. We're a little worse than last year. I guess, I don't know. What did we lose on defense? I guess we just kind of regressed, but oh well. And I did change the playbook right? Yeah. So we'll see how the Chiefs offense works for us, especially with a new QB. So let's get to the midseason point of year four, question mark, and we'll see how the team is doing. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> maybe that new QB isn't the answer. We are 0-6. Um, we have the worst offense in the league, but I guess we also have the worst defense, but our defensive yards are pretty good. They're at least like average-ish, slightly above average, but we have allowed 34.6 points per game. I would probably guess that's like pick sixes though or something. Dom McDermott is having the worst season I have ever seen in this game. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, that experiment didn't work. Let's go with Sam Howell. Also, Kareem Hunt isn't doing very well at all. That's just tough. I bet our O-line is miserable. Well, not too too bad. Khalil Mack is doing pretty well. Uh, Leonard Floyd only has one sack and we only have two interceptions on defense. So there's, there's a lot wrong with our team right now. Not just our QB, but it looks like the QB is the biggest problem. So let's try out our original plan. That is Mr. Sam Howell. And if he sucks, then I don't know what we're going to do. We have an upgrade for Matt Corral. Yay. I guess if Sam Howell sucks, we'll just put Matt Corral back in. I don't know. I want to find a better QB option, but obviously all the good QBs are getting signed before, you know, we can get to them. So that's just the, the, the problem of this rebuild. That's the challenge of this rebuild, I guess. I didn't think our QB would do great. Uh, I didn't think he would have four touchdown passes in 16 interceptions. I didn't think he would be that bad. Um, <laughs> unlucky. But we have some players to re-sign here. Is anyone gonna want to come back? <laughs> that's the question, I guess. I guess we'll bring Jack Sanborn back. Three years, 16 mil. He doesn't take it yet. Deshaun Elliott, five years, 50 mil. I mean, oh, he doesn't even take that. Yikes. Uh, Frankie Louvu, five years, 50 mil. He does come back. Um, a lot of these players are just depth back here though. Kareem Hunt, if he plays better, I'll re-sign him. But if not, then I won't. Dietrich Wise, I guess we can offer two years, 29 mil. He comes back. And I think those are all the players we're gonna re-sign for now, at least. I guess we can maybe re-sign DJ Jones. One year, 7.9 mil. He comes back. So we're gonna have to do a lot of work in the off season. We're obviously not making the playoffs this year. I thought we would do a lot better than this though, but let's get to the end of year number four, I think. 
and hopefully we don't suck too bad. We'll see. Okay, well, in year four, we, I guess we did pretty all right in the second half of the year. We went six and five. That's not bad at all. So I guess just our QB entirely held us back. We still had the worst scoring offense in the league, but it, it got better, I guess. But our, our season stats are interesting. I didn't check all of them, but I saw some of them. Sam Howell was not great. 2,300 yards, 13 touchdowns, nine picks. I think we're just gonna go back to Matt Corral next year. I was hoping we could get a better QB, but uh, definitely not. <laughs> also, Dom McDermott found a way to throw another pick, so that's fun. Kareem Hunt was bad. Only 800 yards, 3.8 yards per carry, eight touchdowns, loves, loves the number eight, I guess. I don't know. Donovan Peoples-Jones, another thousand yard season, 10 touchdowns. He's been good for sure. He just hasn't been developing. I mean, he's had a couple thousand yard seasons. One was 900 yards. Like, he's been good. It's just, he isn't developing, so I don't know what to do about that. Romeo Dobbs was okay, but zero touchdowns. Not great there. And this is the interesting thing. Sacks allowed. <laughs> Kim Robinson had genuinely the worst offensive line, offensive lineman season I have ever seen. Our quarterbacks got sacked. What is that? 55 times? That's insane. Cam Ro I don't even want to cut Cam Robinson because half the time he's, he's decent at least, but he's also a pass protector type. That literally means nothing. It's so stupid. If I could fix one thing in this game, one thing about Madden franchise, it would be to make players actually play like their goddamn overall. Because in what world is almost an 80 overall allowing 20 sacks in a season? Maybe if they were a 50 overall or a 48 overall, that would make sense. Maybe. But especially from the guard position, like, I don't know, dude. There's... That shouldn't be able to happen. You know what I mean? That... <laughs> how does that happen? But Trent Williams was also bad. Taylor Decker was also bad. Tyler Biadash was also bad. Brian Ellsworth, five sacks from right guard. That's bad, but he was our best lineman. So I <laughs> skill issue, I guess. I should be able to build a better team. Uh, I don't know. We have an average of like, I guess the average of our line isn't that high because Ellsworth is only a 70, but it's probably an average of like an 80 or an 82 or somewhere around there. And it allows 55 sacks. That's great. Anyways, CJ Mosley, 126 tackles led the team. That's nice. Tackles for loss. Good Lord. How long? was our defense out there? Khalil Mack with 32. 23 from DJ Jones, 18 for Dietrich Wise, 14 for Leonard Floyd. Sacks, 18 for Khalil Mack led the team, 11 for Leonard Floyd in how many snaps though? Eh, not an absurd amount. <laughs> I mean, a thousand, it's a pretty good amount, but finally he's playing well. And then interceptions, three for CJ Mosley, and then one for like six players that I don't feel like naming. What are we gonna do about this? Cause I mean, <laughs> There's only so much I can do. But MVP goes to Patrick Mahomes. Offensive player of the year also goes to Patrick Mahomes. Defensive player of the year goes to Khalil Mack. We'll take that. I mean, he'll probably retire, which is honestly going to be catastrophic because I don't know what we're going to do on defense if he does, but hopefully he won't. And then obviously we won't have anyone for offensive or defensive rookie of the year. I guess we technically could because I think we have backups, but yeah, no. What are we going to do though? I guess we'll see. Let's get into the off season and what's the Super Bowl gonna be this year? Let me try and predict it again. My guess is Falcons Ravens with Falcons winning 34 to 17. I don't know if the Ravens would get beat like that though in this game. <laughs> I guess we'll see. It could also be Cowboys Chiefs again, but I'm hoping it's not. Also the Commanders were the one seed for the NFC. Oh yeah, I guess they have Joe Burrow now. Never mind, that makes sense. They also get like every free agent in this game for some reason. Okay, that was not a Super Bowl I expected. The Chiefs, which that's predictable, they beat the 49ers 42 to 26. That's a really weird score too. Did the 49ers miss an extra point or like get a safety or something? I don't know. 26 points seems hard to get. But let's see if we got any dev ups or had any retirements. Trent Williams minor retired, but he's been awful anyways. Yeah, he did. I'm I'm fine with that. Tyler Higby got superstar dev. Um, why did he get superstar dev? <laughs> no reason. Okay. He wasn't that good. <laughs> I mean, he was solid. It was his best year so far, but he wasn't that good. If anyone, I think Donovan Peoples-Jones deserves superstar dev, but I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too logically for this game. And <laughs> Leonard Floyd finally had a good year and then he just retires. Thankfully, Khalil Mack doesn't, but we'll need someone new there. We could just, you know, try Leonard Floyd, or not Leonard Floyd, Frankie Louvu there, I guess. I mean, he's 235 pounds, but it's not like anything else about this game is realistic anyways, so who cares? We could do that, we'll see. But let's get into free agency and just pray? I don't know, that's, 
that's gonna be my strategy now because I don't know what else to do. But for re-signings, I, I guess I want Jack Sanborn back. I mean, he's almost our best linebacker, so we'll up his contract a little bit and he does re-sign. Deshaun Elliott, we're gonna have to up the money too. So five years, 57 mil, he does not take it. I don't think the safety tag would be too expensive, but oh, never mind. Okay. Brian Ellsworth wasn't too bad, I guess, and he's cheap. Three years, 6.9 mil, nice. He takes it. I mean, he was probably our best lineman, not that that's saying much, because he still wasn't good, but he was our best lineman, even though he was our lowest overall. Explain that to me. I don't know. Teron Johnson was okay, but he's not interested, so we'll see if there's a better free agent option. Tyler Biadash was bad. <laughs> Tyler Higby is superstar, but he's only a 76. We'll see if there's a better option. Cam Robinson, yeah, that's funny. Okay, we're not really bringing back many players. Understandably so, we were 6 and 11. And hopefully there's some good options in free agency, but probably not. Okay, well, I got excited for a second, but I <laughs> I forgot we have to go to week three. So we'll see who's still left. I don't think it's going to be that good because those players had a lot of money, which, or those players had a lot of offers, which means teams probably have money now. I don't know. We'll just see. That's all we can really do. For quarterbacks, though, it isn't great. Derek Carr, he's bad in this game, isn't he? I mean, he's better than what we had, but he was also on probably a much better team, so I don't think we're going to do that. Baker, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> kind of throws a lot of picks, and again, that was on actually a pretty good team. Well, at least better than ours. Tanner McKee, has he started? No? Okay. I don't know. There, there just isn't really a good option here. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised by that, but usually there's some alright QB that doesn't get signed. But I'll look through free agency, and we'll see what we can do. But these are the players we are gonna go for in free agency, and there are some, there are some pretty good ones, but I am a little disappointed. A little bit. It's not too bad, though. We are gonna go for Bradley Chubb, Orlando Brown, Quincy Williams, Caleb McGarry, Juan Thornhill, and a ton of other guys that y'all see here. Some of these guys are just depth, but a lot of them will be starters. Also, I found an interesting tight end. <laughs> I can't go for him, unfortunately, because he has an offer, but DeAndre Lambert, just a casual X-Factor in free agency. <laughs> did he get that X-Factor, or did he have X-Factor? It doesn't say. Well, I don't know. That's interesting either way. We are going for a superstar tight end. I mean, he's not really going to develop much, obviously, but I just I just like going for dev traits. It looks fancy. I don't know. And unfortunately, there isn't a running back here that looks like he performs super well, so I don't know what to do about that. We're just going to have to hope a running back gets cut or something. I guess we'll see, but let's see if any of these players sign. I'm sure they all will, and yeah, they all sign. So that is a lot of moves, and I'll rearrange the depth chart and we'll see how we're looking heading into year number five. Caleb McGarry would be an 86 overall tight end. Uh, why should I do that? You know what? Hold on. Pure experimentation here. I wonder if there is a tackle I could sign that. <laughs> this isn't realistic, but I want to see if there's a tackle I could sign that would make a good tight end. I mean, probably not, but we might as well try. Cam Robinson. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. You can't. I mean, it makes sense why you can't sort by like you know route running for tackles but like just let us do that i why does it restrict that like what's the point i <laughs> let us have let us have fun let us do stupid shit okay i don't know it's whatever all right let's get to the start of year five and we will see how the team's looking but here's a look at the team heading into the fifth and possibly final year of the rebuild i mean i guess it depends on how we do this year but we are only an 80 overall heading into year five but you know it's not too bad considering the the restrictions we have here and I did move Caleb McGarry to tight end just because I can I don't know for fun and you know if we don't have an elite run game this game is stupid because I mean that's six linemen for every single run pretty much I mean we already know this game is stupid and, un and unrealistic but still you know the downside is the thing that makes me not want to do this is uh you know the Chiefs playbook really goes through the tight end in the receiver game and yeah that's probably all I have to say about that so we'll see what happens there but I think we need the extra O-line help so I think it, it might be worth it we'll see and I did add a few players just out of free agency we added what's this guy's name Quincy Rice he's a decent looking safety at a 77 I added Andrew Booth Jr. we needed another we needed another corner that'd be great if I could speak we brought
brought BJ Hill back, which is where I meet your mother every night. We brought CJ Mosley back. We added Jadavion Clowney, so our pass rush is deep. With Khalil Mack, Bradley Chubb, Andrew Van Ginkle, Carl Lawson, Frankie Louvu, and Jadavion Clowney. And on offense, we added this um, Henry Brown guy. If one of our linemen suck, we could slide him in as a starter at the midseason, because he's a 78 overall at only 26 years old with star dev. That's pretty nice. So if one of our linemen do suck, he is definitely an option. But I think those are all the moves I made that I didn't show. So let's get into year five, and hopefully we're doing all right at the midseason. Hopefully not 0-6, but it wouldn't shock me. Okay, well, <laughs> once again at the midseason point, we are not good, but I guess we're we're doing better than we were last year. We're 2-5 and five here, but that's still obviously not good. And checking our stats, really? Our offense Offense isn't doing too bad. Matt Corral, I would say, is doing the worst out of anybody, which almost makes me want to go back to Sam Howell, but I I don't know. The line played so bad when he was in, so I, I don't know if I want to do that. But yeah, having more interceptions than touchdown passes isn't really ideal. Elijah Mitchell, Mitchell is doing all right. Donovan Peoples-Jones is on pace for like almost 1,700 yards and, I don't know, 12 touchdowns. I don't think he'll get that, but he's on pace for an insane season, and he's still Still somehow only has star dev. I don't know how. Orlando Brown isn't doing terrible, but I'm worried about a big fall off for our offensive line in the second half. So I think he might finish with like 15 or 16 sacks allowed. So I did bench him for Henry Brown. We'll see if Henry Brown does better. I mean, I guess technically Jamari Sawyer's doing worse because right guard's a lot easier, but I, I don't know. And on defense, Khalil Mack is really the only one doing much of anything. I guess Quincy Williams is doing all right, but yeah. I don't know. We're not getting after the QB nearly as much as I thought we would. Khalil Mack is our only edge player with even one sack. That's not great. So I might change the depth chart around a little bit, maybe on the O-line and for the D-line, I guess. God, Bradley Chubb, 400 snaps, zero sacks. Yeah, you're getting benched. And we could end up going to a year six here. So who do we want to re-sign? I'll re mm, We'll wait on Henry Brown, because like I always say, if you re-sign a lineman, they're going to play terrible in the second half of the year. Honestly, the same kind of goes for everyone. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna re-sign anybody here yet. Khalil Mack, sure. Oh, that's expensive though. He'll probably retire, we'll see though. I guess DJ Jones I can re-sign. And that's all we'll worry about for for now, I guess. So like I said, I'll change some things around and let's see how the team is doing by the end of year number five. I always get myself way in over my head for <laughs> these rebuild ideas. I don't know why I do this. But in year five, we unfortunately finish five and 12. Understandable, but still really disappointing. Matt Corral wasn't good this year. 4,000 yards, only 22 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. Maybe Sam Howell would have been better this year. I don't know, but I mean, this is about how Sam Howell played last year, so I'm not sure. Elijah Mitchell was actually pretty good. Almost a thousand yards, 4.6 yards per carry, 10 touchdowns. Can't wait for him to regress all the way back next year. That's going to be fun. Donovan Peoples-Jones wasn't as good in the second half of the year, but still 1,200 yards, almost 1,300, nine touchdowns. Elijah Moore and Caleb McGarry had the exact same amount of receiving yards, which is interesting, obviously. <laughs> and our offensive line, was pretty bad. Matt Corral got sacked 39 times. That's, I've seen worse. It was the third most in the league though. That's not great, but I don't know what to do about that because it's a pretty good overall. So <laughs> I don't know, skill issue, I guess. I should uh, know how to rebuild the team better, smile. Oh, also there are obviously so many players that allowed, you know, a sack because I benched a few guys at the midseason. That's why, obviously. Uh, Desmond King led the team with only 102 tackles. That's really weird. Weird. Where were our linebackers? Mosley only had 67. Jewel only had 56. Weird. Okay. Khalil Mack led the team with 19 tackles for loss, 18 for Wise in sacks. Seven and a half for Dietrich. Wise led the team. Only six and a half for Khalil Mack this year. And Bradley Chubb had a deadly three. He somehow got more as a backup than when he was a starter. All right. I love this game, by the way. And interceptions, four for Quincy Williams, two for Teron Johnson and Desmond King, and one for a few players. This might have been
than the most unrealistic simulation I've ever seen. <laughs> and that's saying a lot. I, I mean, I guess I don't know about that, but our defense was so whack. Like, God, I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is the, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised this happens every year, usually, or at least once or twice in a rebuild, but Dak wins MVP. Love this game. Offensive player of the year goes to Rasheed Rice for the, like, 14 millionth time. Love the diversity. Defensive player of the year goes to TJ Watt, and then we're obviously not going to have anyone for offensive or defensive rookie of the year. Disappointing season, but am I surprised? No, not, not at all. Um, <laughs> but to be fair, I do think we have, like, the worst team in the NFL, so 5-12 and 12 is definitely valid. But let's hope there's some decent free agents this year, because this is going to be the last season. Yep, there's a Madden Classic Super Bowl. The Ravens beat the Panthers 23-20. to 20. That's fun. And unfortunately, even our better players are starting to regress now. Like, I'm going to give... Okay, this is bullshit. I'm giving Donovan Peoples-Jones superstar dev. I'm also reverting his regression, because that's stupid. <laughs> that's so stupid. How do you have over 4,000 yards and 40 touchdowns in four seasons and not get a dev up and not develop? Like, uh, I raise the XP sliders like crazy, too. He's just not developing. I don't know why, so that's fun. <laughs> this game is torture, genuinely. At least Dietrich Wise got superstar dev. Yay. But for re-signings, who do we want to bring back? Um, <laughs> do we want to bring anyone back? I don't know. Henry Brown was kind of bad, low-key. He allowed eight sacks and, like, 600 snaps or something, or 500. I don't know how many it was. Like, 600 and something. Elijah Mitchell I do want back, though. He probably only played well because it was a contract year, but three years, 15 mil. He comes back. Thad Carter, I guess, because he has superstar dev. He resigns. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything with him, but he comes back. Quincy Rice, I kind of do want back, too. Three years, 12 mil. He comes back. So we're getting, like, everybody back, but I can't say these are necessarily great players, to be fair. <laughs> Kayla McGarry, five years. Let's go six, so it's a little cheaper, I guess. I don't know, six years, 75 mil. And he doesn't come back. Hmm. Should I just call it quits now before we go to a year six? Because I know what's going to happen in year six. Taylor Decker, I guess, will resign. He's been okay. And then that's it. So let's get into free agency and just pray once again. Ooh, good thing we're not in the NFC West or something because the Rams got Dak Prescott and Quentin Nelson, but that might be a downgrade because the higher overall line you have, the worse it seems to play. Apparently, I, I hate this game so much. God, why does every safety have to have an offer? That sucks. There were some good ones here, but they all have offers. But I'll see what we can do and hopefully we can get some decent players, man. <laughs> but these are the players we are gonna go for in free agency headlined by, I mean, if you could call it headlined, but headlined by Trent Brown, Jelani Tavai, and Matt Milano, which wouldn't be terrible in real life at all, but that's an average of like 33 and a half years old or something. <laughs> that's not great. We're also going to get Joe Mixon. We might start him because I don't trust. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember his name. The 49ers backup running back. What did I just click? I shut up. All right. We're also going to try to get Hunter Henry because Caleb McGarry has an offer, unfortunately, which which is an insane thing to say, but I decide to do rebuilds like this for some reason. Oh, I didn't realize. Oops, what did I just withdraw? I didn't withdraw Nick Harris. Pfft, great. <laughs> Time to go figure out what I just did. I don't know, and honestly, I don't really care. Um, <laughs> Something interesting is I'm going to cut all of our current quarterbacks, and we're going to try a different three. We're going to try to get Baker Mayfield, Trey Lance, and this Mike Marshall guy who has star dev. I mean, you know, I had a bad experience with last QB I signed that was undrafted but hopefully this guy's just magically better. I don't know. We could give that superstar QB another chance though, because he is a much better overall now, but I don't know. Let's see if any of these players want to sign. They all sign. Big shocker. We get everyone. I'm curious who I accidentally withdrew from though, because we have 10 mil now. It must have been kind of important. I don't remember though. Was it Joe Mixon? No, he wouldn't be 10 mil. I don't know. We'll be fine. Well, we probably won't be, but I don't know if that player will make a difference. So I might look for another center and let's get into year six. Please put me out of my misery. But here's a look at the team heading into the sixth and final year of the rebuild. Uh, we are <laughs> we are much worse than last year. Out of 77, this has been an interesting rebuild challenge. It, you know, I didn't expect it to go great, but I thought we would have a chance of making the playoffs once, but uh, apparently not. On paper, this team doesn't look too bad, though. I'm surprised it's only a 77. I mean, we don't even really have anyone that's lower than a 77 starting. I guess our interior is and Baker is, but that's about it. But whatever, we'll just have to see what happens.
happens. Also with the, <laughs> I kept McDermott and that one star dev QB we had, and I tried both of them in the preseason because I wanted to see if either of them were good, and the one with star dev threw no touchdowns and three picks, and McDermott threw three touchdowns and four picks. So uh, I cut the one guy, and <laughs> we're, we're not going to play either of them, obviously. We'll try Baker. We could try Trey Lance. I don't know. I've had Trey Lance do before, or I've had Trey Lance do well before, but that was on the Cowboys, like the most broken team. So I don't know. So let's just get straight to the end of the season and we will see what the result is. All right. Well, I don't understand this game. Um, <laughs> if you've seen one of these before, y'all know why we're here. If you haven't already, be sure to like and be sure to subscribe, all that good stuff. It really, you know, helps out the channel and all that. And actually, I have something very fun planned for the next rebuild. It was kind of weird because I had the idea and then the next morning I woke up and saw someone comment that idea. It was interesting. <laughs> it's something similar to something I did recently that y'all seem to enjoy, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to catch that. It's going to be really fun. Expect that all out on like Tuesday or something. And of course, let me know any fun rebuild ideas y'all have because what did I just say? Let me know any fun rebuild ideas y'all have because if I pick your comment and all that, if I do that rebuild, I'll give you a shout out as y'all know. But anyways, as I said, I don't understand this game because in year six with our worst team so far, we finish nine and eight and make the playoffs. <sighs> Genuinely, have a lower overall team and you will do better. I mean it. What is this? <laughs> I mean, I guess that hasn't happened every other year, but this is the worst team we had, like I said. Baker was, I guess, better than any QB we've had so far. 3,700 yards, 24 touchdowns, only 11 picks. Bad completion percentage, but <laughs> the rest wasn't too bad, so we'll take it. Joe Mixon was pretty bad, to be fair. Donovan Peoples-Jones, probably his worst year so far, but still 900 yards, 10 touchdowns. Hunter Henry was pretty good. Joe K was pretty, uh, Joe K. I'm hilarious. You should subscribe, by the way. Um, <laughs> the blocking was pretty good other than Aaron Banks. He was doing well at the midseason, but in the second half of the year, he allowed like seven sacks. So that's fun. But I benched Trent Brown for Dan Moore and that worked out. And then I benched Caleb Thurman for Clark Alford at center, who didn't do very well, but I guess better technically. And then on defense, Matt Milano led the team with 124 tackles, tackles for loss seven. Okay. I don't understand this game. 17 for Bradley Chubb, 11 for Zach Allen, and then sacks, 10 and a half for Bradley Chubb. He had like zero at the midseason, so I put Ogba as the number one, and it made both of them do better. <sighs> All right, cool. I mean, I'll, I won't complain, but like, how does that make any sense? We got pretty good pressure from the interior though, so that's nice. And then interceptions, six for Eli Ricks. Also nine pass deflections, nice. Really good season from him though. And then two for Matt Milano and Jelani Tavai, and one for Roger McCreary and Juan Thornhill. So if we didn't have Eli Ricks, that would have been awful, but he brought our interception total from six to 12, so not too bad. <laughs> and MVP goes to Patrick Mahomes. Offensive player of the year goes to Patrick Mahomes. It's been a chief every year, I'm pretty sure. Joey Bosa unfortunately got injured today, which sucks. He's the he's the Bosa brother I like more of the two. The the non-racist Bosa brother, I think. I, I don't know. Maybe he is. Um, I don't think he is though. But no bang have we had a single Bengals player up for like any awards? Am I checking the right conference? Yeah, we're checking AFC. Obviously, no rookies. I'll get super specific. How about like individual awards? Anyone up there for anything, please? Okay, Don. Donovan Peoples-Jones at six for best receiver. Jamari Sawyer at eight for best alignment. He only allowed like one sack. Bradley Chubb up at number eight for best D lineman. Eli Ricks wins best DB. I mean, that's not gonna matter because this is the last year, but it's better than nothing. And then our kicker up there at number four. So hey, at least we won a award. We'll take it. But we are about to get blown out and deservingly so. I mean, we're a 78 overall to the Bills 86. We are probably, oh, I don't want to do that. We are probably the worst roster in the league. Still, probably by a lot, actually. This was like the hardest rebuild I've ever done. <laughs> well, no, I've done harder, but yeah, we're the worst team by four hole overall. That's not great. But to be fair, I think I've done worse with the best roster in the league by four overall. So love the consistency of this game. We definitely deserve to be here. But now let's accept our fate. And honestly, I wouldn't even be shocked if we won this game, knowing how awful simulation is. Okay, no, we do lose 23 to 13. That makes sense. But hey, 
hey, at least we made the playoffs once in this rebuild. That's not too bad, and if y'all enjoyed, I'm gonna try to not do as hard of stuff for future rebuilds, at least for a while. But if you enjoyed, of course, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Y'all already know the deal. A thousand likes, and we'll do something fun for the next one, and 25k, and also something fun that y'all will enjoy. But there will be another video on screen now if you enjoyed this one, so feel free to click that. But thank you all so much for watching, and with that, I'll see y'all again in the next video. Goodbye.